Hello, what we have here for sale is a 1995 Chevy Astrovan. This Astrovan is the mechanical all-wheel drive version, which means it's in all-wheel drive all the time. And that's the way they decided to make it in 1995 for the Chevy Astro. If you're not familiar with the engine, it has a Vortec 4.3 liter V6, 190 horsepower. Let's take a walk around and, and uh, I'll run through some of the things that I've done with it so far since I've owned it. As you can tell right away, it's been lifted. The parts for the lift primarily came from Overland Vans. It has the three quarter ton spring package on the rear, which is different than adding a leaf. This is actually the equivalent of adding two leafs. The original springs were removed and the three quarter ton springs were replaced in, in their place. I've got the oversized shackles too on the back, which came from Overland Vans. Rancho shocks all the way around. The engine is a Jasper replacement engine, which some say is a step up from a crate motor because it comes with all of the updates already on it. The engine was replaced, purchase date 5-12-2016, so it's a, maybe a year and a half old. It comes with a three year 30,000 mile warranty. So the engine is still under warranty through Jasper. Here is the sales receipt coming at $4,937 only about six months ago for the engine. Here's the title. The title is cleared and ready to go. As you can see, this van has been made to be lived in or camped in. This plate drops to put a foam pad on to make it into a bed. It hooks back up at the top to stow out of the way so you gain that space back in the daytime. You've got a vent here to allow for fresh air transfer from the top. Some rubber matting, some flooring, a space that was created to put a cooler or a refrigerator in. Pet or live food place there, depending on your preference. Pantry, storage, storage. The seat here is a 2006 Chevy Express seat. And it has a DOT approved swivel. So this seat can swivel around to create more inside space. Let's see, I've got a deck in there and a couple of speakers. Here we go, deck and a couple of speakers that work. I've got a light system in here on a switch. Let's take a look at the back. Oh, you've got speakers here and speakers here for audio. More storage. This back storage here was actually created specifically for a guitar neck to pass through there so you can store a guitar here, but whatever you want it for, it's just here for you. You've got more storage. You've got a class three hitch bolted on the back ready to go for you. You've got a luggage rack on top. Let's take a look at the mileage. This is coming in. I don't know if we're gonna be able to see it. Let's try. This is coming in at 119,000 miles. Original, these are all original miles here. And the engine was installed at 111. So we're talking about a difference of about 8,000 miles is all that's on that new engine. So other than that, the AC, when the engine was put in, it stopped working and I traveled so I wasn't in the uh, the location of where the engine was installed to go back and have it fixed. I know that the, the pump, the AC pump is two years old. 
I the last time I checked it it was holding refrigerant but I'm not an AC guy so I don't know if it's an easy fix or if it's a complicated fix but that's the story on the AC there's no cracks in the windshield the windshield was replaced about two years ago there's tint on all the windows I paid about three hundred and fifty dollars for that tent there is a this was set up for camping so there is a motion sensor on the front which just helps you to see at night when you're out camping there you go it's all ready to go oh let's start it let's start it let me get a key right up you can see by the temperature gauge that I didn't start it up ahead of time to get it warmed up in advance before I started it and there you go sounds like a brand new motor thanks a lot for watching and happy bidding maybe this will be yours see ya